to me, it's, it's about uh, overcoming technical challenges in order to come up with better buildings, better structures, better bridges. Um, it can actually be anything from uh, a long span suspension bridge to a small residential project to even a structure, let's say, within, a, within an aircraft um, or, or a product. So it can span a huge range, but what um, I do here, it's very much working closely with the architects to, to support their vision, to work with them to develop the best possible building. You actually you can see the thing you spent so long designing uh, rising out of the ground and you get a sense of satisfaction that, um, that you've done it, that you can look at something like the velodrome um, which, is now, which is now finished on the Olympic Park and say, yeah, I, I helped with that. Uh, really satisfying. They actually were working with Chris Hoy to look at how do you make the best track for cyclists. So it's not just a, an abstractly designed building but it's had cyclists at the heart of it. And one of the key things that Chris Hoy was saying and, and the British cyclists was that you need to have a crowd all the way around the track so that as you cycle around in your race, you have that constant uh, cheering and that support. You don't get to the end of the track and you bank around and then it goes quiet. Then the next thing is to make sure that all the crowd can see the action, of course. And so then uh, on, the, on, the, on the home straight and the back straight, where the track is flatter, you can really build up the seating tiers from there. Uh, which, so that, that, that starts at the basis of see the action, support the action, cheer on the cyclists, and then it brings you up to give you the form of the velodrome. It was probably going back to, uh, to school, um, around to the GCSE time, um, really like maths and physics and mechanics particularly. And, and I did uh, something called the Engineering Education Scheme, uh, where essentially uh, groups of four or five uh, students at school could uh, team up with a local company and tackle a little engineering problem. Uh, and I think from there that sort of turned my interest in, in maths as a, as a school academic subject into uh, an interest in making things. So at A-level I studied maths, physics, chemistry and further maths. I rem remember things such as friction and Newton's laws of motion uh, and so on. And actually those fundamentals, we still use them today now. I think the big thing is essentially to try it out. So get work experience, uh, go on a summer placement. Uh, have a think about whether, whether you might like to do a gap year. But for me, I, I found that a really, really good experience. It was a, a general engineering that I did in that year, but it gave me a real flavour of, of what it's like in the real world.